name is Souda Al Sharif. I'm 19 year old. Um, I come from Saudi Arabia. Uh, my hometown is Jeddah. I've been living in London for one year and a half. Faith, uh, achievement, goals, dreams. Wherever I go, whether it's in London, whether it's in, uh, in America or in Saudi, every single one of us has one thing in common and that is how can we achieve these goals. I hope through this uh, documentary people understand and feel that faith, dreams, goals are all connected in the same line. Success would be seeing the world changing into a healthy world, a sustainable world. Success for me personally is people reaching their goals. Success for me will be proper sustainable communities um, in England, if not the whole world. My dream is really to be a successful film composer. I want to be able to, you know, write music pretty much to all sorts of genres and all sorts of films. I, I consider it to be a successful thing if I can do the right project for the film and how it might affect people and the audience of the film that are going to be listening to my music. I think success is, for me, a combination of different things, but it's being able to write the music that perhaps changed the audience experience, you know, it's, it's the music that I do for the film can change the emotion of the audience and the people who are going to watch it and the whole experience can change. I want to look back and just say, that's where I was, this is where I am now, and sort of feel good about the kind of the work that I've done. Uh, and how I got from A to B. That's a success to be able to get from A to B and achieve what you want. Successful and happy, mainly because for me, life really is about being happy. I feel unsure because the future is so indefinite, but the positive um, influence in my life is going to be the thing that is the, the, the changing factor. Because of the faith that I've got, it means that the future and everything that the future brings, with the faith that I've got in it, everything will be good. I believe that. So I've got no worries at all. My notion of faith is of course very much for me, very powerful. But then what it enables me to do, what I therefore uh, achieve with my activities because of my faith, my values and belief systems uh, that determine my ideas and uh, my approach to things, um, my productive output if you like, my capacity for productivity. This has to then be in relation to everything that's going on around me. If we consider that faith is all forces, where they come from, whatever they do, and however they transform everything that they are in action with and reaction, interaction, and then of course everything that comes after. And so faith is really always just realizing itself. Faith is, if you like, consciousness itself. Uh, it's still totally unknown. And, you know, in that kind of level of its being unknown, what do we like to uncover? for us is this drive, and for me that drive ultimately comes down to freedom, and uh, the freedom to actually achieve freedom, <laughs> which of course, because of state policy and uh, tyrants, the freedom and the expression of the freedom, or the expression of the suffering which we are free to do, is uh, being limited. And the more it's limited, the more people will 
fight it. Fight it yeah. <laughs> so this, uh, this will be my uh, uh, attempts Thanks. for uh, the future to really grasp this, to really understand and uh, to help uh, express this. I've only got one dream really, and that's for the world to be a better place. Just to spread as much love, guidance and light as possible throughout the universe to as many people as possible, really. My dreams, well, I have very little concept of the future. It's all about right now for me. I always remember this, the Greek story, the, the, the tale of Sisyphus, which was someone who was condemned by the gods to roll a stone up the top of this hill, and every single morning it would be back down the bottom of the hill, and it was this eternal, yeah, arduous yeah. task. And coming from the, the background of work that I had when I was, I was uh, building sets for theatres, yeah. and I, I was working construction since I was about 16, there was times when, th you know, there was a, a seemingly insurmountable task to be completed by the end of the day. Yeah. And I needed just absolute faith that as long as I kept on going, as long as I didn't just stop and, you know, bemoan my situation yeah. and, you know, and try to kind of avoid the task and hope that it would just disappear, I had to have absolute faith that as small as a, as a, as a shovel was each time I was doing it, that eventually if I carried on shoveling, that insurmountable task would be completed. And I think that's the same thing that I have with any other obstacles that I find in my life is using faith to generate the energy and the power to be able to surmount those obstacles. Because like you say, I mean, you know, there is no progress without struggle. The future for me is, um, is something that I try not to, I have a direction, I know where I want to go, but I'm more than happy to allow the time it takes for me to get there to be dependent on what the conditions I find myself in. So for me, the dream would be to completely obliterate this kind of, you know, detritus, kind of, yeah, this yeah. really, really yeah. exploitative um, society, to provide a society or to or help structure a society that is more ethical and humane and healthy, um, healthy for the planet and healthy for humanity.